Hello everybody! Hello friends! My name is Jared. If you are new here, welcome! And I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel so that we could grow this community of fragrance lovers. And um, if you a um, a subscriber and a returning viewer, welcome back! Um, so today, we're going to review one of Bath & Body Works if I may say so, an underrated scent. Um, this was released last year, back in 2021, and it hasn't been reincarnated yet as of date, as of 2022. So I'm really very excited to um, show this all to you and uh, review together with you all this particular fragrance. But before we get into the scent, I would like to first jump in into our usual Jared's hashtag shout out and for this week the shout out goes to Born to Sparkle by EKS um, so Erica <laughs> Erica I hope that you're watching well I know that you are um, so well me and Erica go way back um, we have a very good history um, and Individual, individual. Iba na talaga kapag meron ka mga friends who are entrepreneurs because they would support you in any endeavor that you would like to do. Just much as this YouTube channel, Erica was actually one of my very first, you know, one of my friends who were really, you know, pushing me, supporting me to to do this channel for for everybody else because well, she enjoys um, in particular. Pink chiffon. We'll get to that, Erica. But it's a different pink that we're talking about that we will talk about today. Um, but yeah, uh, that that is how we met. Born to Sparkle by EKS. Actually, her page sells um, jewelry. So if you are into that, well, you know I'm not much of a well. I'm not even wearing any jewelry today. But she sells tons of things from earrings to necklaces bracelets even anklets she has it you name it she has it so go ahead and check out her page i will link her socials in the description below so that you could check it check her out and um very friendly prices if i may say so um my, my from you know from the reviews that i have read from her and also from friends who have um purchased from her really affordable um but top of the line jewelry so i hope that you all check her out born to sparkle by eks all right so let's jump into the scent for today and as i've said it's a, a pink um scent but um as i've said this one uh has been released back in 2021 and hasn't been reincarnated yet but i really do hope that in the near future button by the works would re-release this and perhaps in a in another packaging but we're going to talk about today about pink tie-dye in a very appropriate packaging as well which is a, a pink and yellow tie-dye and um well apart from the packaging which is really very already very pretty as you can see right here all pink and um the cap as well of the fragrance mist is also in pink so really very pretty packaging if i may say so for this particular um collection the tie-dye collection um i believe there are three of them three scents in this particular collection um if i remember them correctly we have um endless weekend and cotton candy clouds cotton candy clouds has also been well with, with endless weekend uh, it had multiple reincarnations but for cotton candy clouds it has been um, reincarnated this year with a very pretty packaging as well the fun fair collection um so as soon as i get my hands on on that collection we're going to we're going to review that um as well um so i'm just hoping to get my hands on hopefully within the next few weeks uh, that would have that would be delivered to me but for now in this particular tie-dye packaging we have pink 
tie-dye. Um, so the fragrance notes. The fragrance notes right here, we have pink lady apple, water lotus, and cotton blossom. And it has this, um, this particular line from Bath & Body Works that says, crush on this fun fragrance and dream of happy days. Well, that resonates to me very much because when I wear pink tie-dye, it's very reminiscent of, you know, the innocent times. It's a throwback to high school. Um, a very nostalgic, nostalgic feel. Um, if I remember, tie-dyes have, um, well, the, the, you know, with um, tie-dye prints, um, they... I believe it um, it really blown up during the 60s or 70s, the hippies time. So, yeah, well, of course, I wasn't born then, but, you know, with the scent, it's really very nostalgic. Um, it's fun. It's bubbly. Um, if I may say so, this would be great for teens. Um, well, very apple forward. You know me. I love my apple scent. So, this is definitely right up my alley um let me just bring this <laughs> spray this on me I, I love this um it the mist isn't very is well with the scent um the the, the cream as well the, there really isn't much difference um so it intensifies actually if i use this uh if i use them both with the cream and and the mist the, the fragrance intensifies and that is basically the reason why I, I love this particular scent it's a little bit watery if i may say so so as i've said this is very uh, this is a fresh a very fresh scent so you know teens would would i uh, believe you know th this would be perfect for teens to wear um and it has that cotton feel or cleanliness of cotton um that, that's um, how I would describe this scent because it really isn't uh, much of a really strong perfume scent but it's very clean so it's a fruity fresh clean scent uh, that's how I would describe pink tie-dye and as I've said it's apple uh, you know how much I love my apple scents it is, this is already I think the third or the fourth apple scent that I own so I really do love pink tie-dye so if you would like to get your hands on pink tie-dye go ahead and grab one for yourself um, you know you can purchase it for your teens for your preteens um, well it's pink so perhaps the demographic of this would be um, teenage girls but you know um, it's very it's a, a very clean scent so w even with just the mist you know um, I, I believe any teenager would like that so yeah basically that's it that's my review of pink tie-dye I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any other um, suggestions of um, fragrances that you would like to review uh, for me to review go ahead and comment down below your suggestions um, Anytime soon, I would also be reviewing other Victoria's Secret scents, so you all watch out for that. And um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Alright then, thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye for now.